My name is Katie Casa. I work at the Georgia Department of Public Health as a program coordinator for the Drug Surveillance Unit. My day-to-day -day really ranges a lot, which is something I like about my job, but we're primarily producing reports and data for the public and stakeholders to better understand what's going on with the drug overdose epidemic so that we can respond to it and um, hopefully save lives. I was first exposed to public health in my sociology anthropology coursework at St. Olaf and I was just really inspired by the world of public health and health as a social justice issue. And I ended up, I think, kind of serendipitously being assigned to that health sector when I applied for Peace Corps. So I really got my feet wet in public health as a Peace Corps volunteer after college. One of the things I love about public health is it is a hugely diverse field. There are all sorts of disciplines working together in public health. Really, no matter what you're interested in, if you're passionate about health as a social justice issue, then there's something that you can do in public health. So I would say pursue the major that you're passionate about and you can fit that into public health in some way. I think the liberal arts approach is so fitting for public health because it teaches you to approach an issue from all sides. Um, no one discipline really has the answer to a problem. It takes holistic thinking. It really has proven really useful and honestly the number one skill that I got from St. Olaf that has been so invaluable for my career has been writing. I'm able to just you know write something really quickly and that is 100% because of St. Olaf. I was writing papers all the time. Primarily being passionate about public health is really the number one thing. No matter what type of public health work you're doing, it will at some point be challenging. So I think really caring about the work you're doing can get, get you through those challenges. A lot of those soft skills like just organization and writing are really important to being successful. But then, of course, depending on what specifically you're doing, there are some other um, more hard skills that come in, like, you know, knowing how to code in SAS, for example, <laughs> or something like that. But it really just depends. I think I would maybe say, um, in, enjoy the journey a little more, enjoy the process of school. I think it's easy when you're in school to get caught up in the stress of it and, you know, being hyper-focused on this paper that's due. But really, it's such a, it's a unique time in your life where you just get to learn without a lot of outside distractions. And I think I would just go back and enjoy that part of it more. I, I really love learning and I'm continuing to learn, but there's just something unique about that being your whole and only job. Um, so I would just say to, to embrace that. I would say just pursue what interests you. If there's a certain social issue that you're interested in, find an organization you can volunteer with. I would personally tell everyone to be in the Peace Corps. I loved it. I thought it was a really great experience, especially right after college when you're trying to find your path in the world and don't quite know what to do with yourself. The only way to find out what you like and what you don't like is to try things. So just see where things lead you and try it. And if it doesn't work, try something else and eventually you'll find what you're meant to be doing.